بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدي خلق الله محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Dear Learn Arabic with me channel friends I hope you doing well إن شاء الله I hope you practice and you do your homework um, uh, of the lessons or the sessions we we have done before the previ the previous sessions because if you watch uh, a video and you don't practice so it never gonna stick here it never so you have to use what you have if you want to learn uh, any language i'm not talking just about arabic any language you need to practice again and again every day every day go to the 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 video uh, let it play play the video if you have an issue push uh, hit the red button stop the video go to the front and for the beginning and do it again and listen and watch if you have any issues or a problem go to the comment put them down we i will be more than happy to to uh, to answer and help. This is number one. Uh, practice, uh, do your homework. And uh, the meaning of practice, I mean about practice, is use it. Use whatever you have. You have to have Arabs uh, friends, you know, so you can talk to them. Don't be shy. If there is any issues or uh, if you make mistakes, do not worry about anything. Whoever uh, uh, who, whoever learns something, they have to do mistakes in the beginning. This is normal. This is the way how we learn. And we said in there is Arab Arabic uh, proverb said, "Asaktatu to alimu anhuud." Asaktatu to alimu anhuud. The meaning of this, if you uh, fell down, that teach teach you teaches you how to stand. Okay. So uh, it's uh, use Arabic with Arabs, so you can communicate with them, talk to them. When they talk, you understand what they are talking about. If you don't, don't be upset. Just keep going, and inshallah, you will do one day. Today, I'm gonna talk about one pronoun. We used before, but it was in the middle of so many pronouns. This pronoun is you. Pronoun is damir. Pronoun damir. We talked about this before a long time ago, maybe uh, six months ago. Ad damir. So you is damir monfasil. We talk about damir monfasil and damir motasil. Damir motasil. Uh, attached uh, pronoun damir mon fasil detached pronoun so you it's not attached to any 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 noun or any word so you what you means in arabic language you is a pronoun is a detached pronoun because it's not attached to any word or any verb or anything this is one thing. Now, if I say you in English, we know it's you. You can be Fatima. I will tell her you. You can be Muhammad. I will tell you you. You guys can be two people, Fatima and uh, Maryam. I will tell her you. You can be uh, Abdul Qadir and uh, Yasser. I will tell them you, so two people. You can be uh, so many uh, people, male, plural. I'll tell them if I want to uh, talk to them, I will tell them you. See? You can also be a lot of women or ladies or girls or uh, baby girls. I will tell them you. So six, six in one, six in one. This is why I am saying that Arabic, I'm not gonna say it's not easy, no, but it's just a little bit, you know, complicated, okay? 
If I say it's not easy, you're going to be, oh, I don't want to learn it. I don't need any trouble. No, it's, it's good. This is the best language. It's a language of the Quran. Okay, so try to learn it. Do your best to learn it. But these details, you see uh, how, ma how many details Arabic has? See, when you have you in, in, uh, in English, maybe in French, and uh, yeah, in French, I'm sure. I'm not uh, uh, sure about Spanish because I don't know Spanish, but I think it's the same thing. But Arabic, Arabic is something different. So let's see here. You, you. This is you, okay? It's not going to be, if I talk about myself, it's going to be Anna, Anna, right? So when I say you, it's going to be Anta, Anta. Can you see? Anta. Okay, so it's you. When I say Anta, it's you, male, Muhammad. When I say you, let's put it down here so you can see clear. Anta. Fatha sukun fatha. Anta. So, male. One person. Singular male. Okay. You. It can be anti. Fatima. Anti. I can tell her you also. I can tell her you. I should tell her you because there is no way in English. There is only you for female or male. Uh, in, in Arabic, no. If you talk to female, you cannot tell her anta. You have to tell her anti. Al-Kasra here, right here. Anta. You have to specify who you are talking to. You have to specify with this fatha and this kasra. This fatha and this kasra make a big difference. Make a big difference. Like in Arab, if you tell a man, uh, female, like you make him small. Anti. So he get upset, right? So anti is male, anti is female, uh, uh, singular. Be careful, singular. Let's go to the other details. This is here. Al-Mufrad. This is singular. Mufrad, singular. I don't want to write in uh, uh, English. So you can memorize those words. Al-Mufrad. Let's go to Al-Muthanna. Al-Muthanna. What Al-Muthanna means? What Al-Muthanna means? Al-Muthanna. Al-Muthanna means Al-Muthanna. The word Ithnani is coming here. See? The word Ithnani. Ithnani, Muthanna means I'm talking about two people. And this is another regulation in uh, another rules in uh, Arabic grammar. Mutanna is separate from plural. Okay, mutanna is mutanna. There is no plural. Al plural is al jam. I'm coming to it. Inshallah after this. So al mutanna, we're gonna see antuma. Mutanna uh, of uh, female is antuma. Al-Muthanna uh, of a male is Antuma also. So, we have Antuma for male, Antuma for female. Let's go to uh, an everything. All those in English, you can use only, uh, only you. Let's go to Jama. Can you see? الجمع. الجمع is a plural. جمع. Is a plural. Okay. Why we call the الجمع the plural جمع. جمع جماعة يجمع جماعة جماعة من الناس is a is a 
um, uh, a lot of people, more than three. More than three, you can call it al-jam. That's why when you go to the masjid, they call it, some people, they call it al-jam. In Morocco, my country, we call it al-jam. Uh, Ana dahibun ila al-jam. Al-jam, why they call it, this is a place to put people together. Al-jam is a place when we gather people and they get together, right? That's what kalimat al-jam'a, jam'a, yajma'u, jam'un, jam'un, it's a lot of people, jam'un, so al-jam, it's so many people, they can be male, they can be female, but if they are male, we're not gonna use the uh, same word as female, the, uh, male, antum, antum, like uh, uh, I'm talking to my students, for example, just for example, the, the the boys antum ya awlad i'm talking to to the girls antunna ya banat see antum awlad antunna banat antuma bintani tu antuma muthanna ithnani antuma muthanna uh, male male and muthanna is the same okay so let's do antum Antum. Uh, I'm sorry about this. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I have a class now, so I call you. I call you later. Now. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, guys, about that. Is my daughter? She called me. I'm gonna call her back, inshallah. Antum, antum, antunna. So antum, antunna. We can replace these two. I'm sorry. Antum, antunna. I'm, I can replace antum with you in English. I can replace antunna with you in English. So let's count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see how this U is important? Arabic has a lot of uh, details. A lot of details. This is one of them. This is one of them. Jazakumullah khairan. If you like my video, make dua for me and my family. And uh, inshallah, I'm not gonna go far. Uh, this time, I'm gonna come up ev uh, every while with uh, a new video, inshallah. If you like the video, stay in touch with uh, with us, inshallah. And jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh.